Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Park Tool PCS 9.2 bike stand and I'm going to be testing it on my specialized rock hopper mountain bike. So this bike stand um, is pretty cool. It actually has a few holds that you can do on the mountain bike. So to do different holds on this bike stand, uh, you're going to have to know how to rotate this piece. And what you have to do is um, just unscrew this uh, lever back here. And then this uh, will come come free, and you can uh, rotate it however you like for the seat post position. Uh, you're gonna put it like that, vertical, and then tighten this lever down just like that. So we're gonna get a closer look at this hold, which is the hold that goes on your front bar here. So to get uh, your bike onto the bike stand, you're gonna first unscrew this big clamp up here. You open up this so that you can fit your bike in there. And then this clamp is very nice. It's super grippy and it's easy to hold on to. So we're gonna take our bike and we're going to rest it inside of the frame here. And I would recommend this hold for anyone who's doing this by themselves because I'm gonna show you why later, but it's way easier to do than the seat post hold. Um, which is another hold that this bike rack can do. This is the bike on the stand. It's very sturdy. Um, so what you want to do is just make sure you've uh, tightened all of your bolts. Um, and the next hold I'm going to show you is the hold that goes on the seat post. So just like we did with the frame hold, to do the seat post hold, um, we just showed you how to put it in that position. Now you're going to raise your bike like so and then uh, start tightening around your seat post and as you can see this is way harder to do than the frame hold and that's why I would recommend um, uh, if you're by yourself do it on the frame rather than uh, on the seat post. If you're doing it on the seat post, I would recommend you have multiple people. But once you have this tightened down, your bike is ready um, to be worked on. Uh, if you want to have more access to the gears, you can flip the bike around, um, and that would be easier to work on the on the chain and stuff. But overall, I really like the stability of this bike rack, and also the portability, which I will show you right now. You can basically. Um, get it down pretty pretty loose first things first I would tighten this and I would just give you a bit more room uh, next there's a bolt on the side here and you can loosen that and what that allows you to do is move this all the way down so I didn't talk about this but while the bike it's off of the rack, they recommend uh, you can adjust the height. I wouldn't uh, recommend you adjust the height while the bike is on, uh, unless you have somebody holding the weight off of the bike. But if you unscrew this nut, uh, this little screw here, uh, you can, you know, adjust the height. And that's a really big factor of this bike stand. But if for portable use, I would tighten that down all the way at the lowest setting. Then what you can do is see this bolt on the bottom. I keep calling them bolts. They're screws. Uh, uh, they have pretty big hang handles too, so you can easily unscrew it. But once you have that unscrewed, uh, you can raise the legs up with the rest of the bike rack, bike stand. And that is another really big factor. So yeah, this is the bike stand in its most portable state. As you can see, it's also very light, um, which is good for portability as well. But yeah, this can fit in most even uh, most compact cars. And uh, that's what I love about this bike stand. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you have any questions about the bike stand, please leave a comment and thanks for watching.